here we go, back again with another match video. Yes, it is also a new signing video. Sunderland have signed the 19 year old left back from Spurs for an undisclosed fee on a three year contract. Dennis Kirken. Dennis Kirken, yes, the young, talented left back from Spurs. He was born in Ireland and Dublin, but moved to London with his Latvian parents at the age of three. Now, he has played for the under-16s, under-17s in the England setup, and he was once hailed as a rising talent by Jose Mourinho. So, yes, Dennis Kirken, it could be, could be, the world is his oyster. The 19-year-old finally signed for Sunderland. We have finally got a left back because at the moment, this moment in time, Hume has not put pen to paper and Hume has not rejoined Sunderland and he's always injured. But yes, Dennis Kirken has joined Sunderland who will probably go straight into the first team on Saturday. Now, he is just over six foot tall and he has played, he's I, he, 17 year old he was, 17 year old when he got his first senior squad start for Spurs under Jose Mourinho. So for me, that's one hell of a sign and talented young left back, you know, dropping down a league one along with, uh, along with Doyle. Yes, we have Doyle. And this is the starting lineup. I think I would like to start or possibly Johnson will start against MK Dons on Saturday. I'm going to go through this very shortly, but we do have Doyle, 17 year old and 19 year old Dennis Kirk. And so that's going to be a good youthful, you know, youthful defensive squad. Now Dan Neal can move back to the centre of midfield where I think he does belong. So are you happy with it? Are you happy with the Kirken? You've got to be happy with Dennis Kirken. Dennis Kirken signing has got to be a fantastic signing for Sunderland. You know, the world is his oyster. He could come through and be a really talented, talented player in the future. Cement his position at Sunderland as left back and hopefully we'll have one hell of a season at Sunderland. Now Sunderland do take on the MK Duns on Saturday down at the stadium MK. MK Duns have started the season. They played Bournemouth before the season even started on the 31st of July in the first round of the Carabao AFL Cup where they lost 5-0. 5-0. Now at the weekend against Bolton they drew threes a peach. Threes a peach against Bolton. They played the 3-5-2 system and also had five, five new players in that side. Four of the players I'm going to go through now. Four players at this team. A couple of them you already know a lot about. Now, one of the players that joined MK Duns, MK Duns last way, end of the end of last season, in between the transfer, in between the you know the pre-season, was Mo Ice. Had his first game for the MK Duns. He joined from Peterborough. He played 56 games for Peterborough and scored 16 goals. Very good, talented 27-year-old was let go and sold. I'm not sure if it was a free transfer, I'm not quite sure, to MK Dons. That was the first new signing who started against Bolton. The striker. Another one who started against Bolton. Another striker was Troy Parrott. This striker left Ipswich last season, who was unknown from Spurs as well. So you will know all about, know all about Dennis Coken. Dennis Kirken, should we say Kirken? I want to say Macaulay Kirken, but it's Dennis Kirken. Dennis Kirken. He's played 18 games on loan tips, which scored two goals. Now again, he's moved to MK Dons. So MK Dons had those two new strikers up front against Bolton on Saturday. Then we all know about the young Ethan Robson, born in Holton his spring, midfielder, 24-year-old, was at Sunderland from 2014 to 2020, and he's played nine games, scoring no goals in the in the in our first team, first team position he played in. But he moved, he moved, yes, on from it was a Blackpool to MK Dons, and he started his first game at the weekend against Bolton. Now he is looking forward to taking on his his old his old team, Sunderland, and the team you know he's grown up to love and cherish. But he had to leave because you know Stuart Donald. In his, in his wisdom, under the manager, decided to let him go. Right, that was his first start as well. So another player that's just came in for MK Dons, Scott Twin, or Twain, I think it is, 22-year-old midfielder from Newport. 19 games, six goals for Newport. Yes, six goals for Newport. And one start, one goal, just like Mo Issa on Saturday. So there's four players who have to bet together, gel together, and will get stronger for MK Dons. So is it a good time now? to play MK Dons, just like Wigan. A lot of new players come together. A lot of new players come together. You know, that brilliant, wonderful stadium, MK. Founded in 2004, the MK Dons. 30,000 
stadium seat, 30,000 seats. That is a wonderful stadium. Dean Lewinden, interim player manager for MK Dons. Now, MK Dons drew three to pitch against Bolton. They lost against Bournemouth. What will they do against Sunderland? Will they beat Sunderland? Or can Sunderland continue their great run of form? Two out of two so far. Beating Port Vale last night with goals from Josh Hawks and Aidan O'Brien. And on Saturday, winning 2-1 again. Goals from, you know, Ross Stewart got that winning goal. It was absolutely brilliant to get that winning goal. And then we also had a penalty for McGeady. So it's our second game of the campaign. It's going to be difficult MK Dons are quite good at home. But remember Gooch's goal last season when we beat MK Dons down there. That brilliant, fantastic strike from Lyndon Gooch. So we'll go back to the team. What I think will start on Saturday. It's going to be a difficult one because we do we know if Winchester is fit. So if Winchester's not fit, who fits in it right back? Do we play Gooch? Do we play Junger who played well last night as left back? If, if you know, Dennis Kirken... Can it play straight away because he's not fit enough? I don't know why he wouldn't be able to with a young, talented young lad. Dan May will have to play it. I'm sure Kirkland will come straight into the side. Flanagan and Doyle are set the backs. No change at Evans in 9 and Embleton for me as the three midfielders. But then who goes on the right hand side? If Gooch is not if Gooch is not in the right back position, then Gooch for me stays in the position he played at the weekend and McGeady with Stewart up front. So that's the start lineup and also Patterson. Patterson Birch played well last week in the League One match. Patterson played brilliant last night. And I did forget to say for me, Patterson was my man of the match last night with that superb last minute save, tipping over the crossbar. Brilliant. Brilliant display of goalkeeping from Anthony Patterson last night. So Patterson could easily find himself in the starting lineup at MK Stadium MK on Saturday. Now, score predictions for the weekend. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. Score predictions for the weekend. And as I did before, and I've completely lost the plot. Oh yes, I know where it is. <laughs> it's right here. So we're going to go for score predictions at the weekend. But the people who got the correct scores last weekend was Alan Stapleton, Mick Griffiths, John Papp, Norman Logan, Nathan Macam, John Forbes, Glenn Smalley, Bradley Scott, Angelic Skin, Wee Philly, Philip Stout, Jeremy Moore, Colin, Alfie, Josh, Sunderland SFC, Jamie, Jonathan Mariner, Philip Emerson, 007, Ellison and Keno and Mick. I didn't pronounce all your names, but I quickly rushed through those again just to say that they all got 10 points. So that's the starting table of the starting start of the new season. Can you get the score? Can you get the correct score? Can you get the correct score for this weekend's match against Stadium MK MK Dons Town Stadium MK? Well, hey, but ten points is up for grabs. I'm going to go for now. Let's have a little think. Let's have a little think. We've got a good Doyle, good curtain now, good centre backs. Oh, MK Dons new team just just fit together, just jump together. I'm going to go for a. Another 2-1 win. A hat-trick of 2-1 victories. There we go. A hat-trick of 2-1 victories. Have you got the greatest sports looking? Can you put pen to paper? Or just put a little bit of, um, you know, a bit of typewriter on and get them down in the comment section below. And can you get 10 points to get involved in that table? So there we go. A new sign in the day. Finally got our left back. Now will we go for a right back. How many more players do we need to cement this squad? Now, when I was writing this team down again, I was finding it incredibly difficult to put other names in these positions. That's a sign that we need more signings. We do have Pritchard. Pritchard, for me, probably won't start because I don't think he's fit enough. Embleton was rested last night. Hopefully, he was only rested and not injured. And like I said, Evans was rested last night as well. So, for me... We do need strength and depth. We do need another centre back because we have, I mean, we've got Billy right. We do need another striker. And we've got our left back now. We've got our left back finally. All we need now is a right back. How many more signings do we need to make a good push for promotion this season? I'm going to say we need another, another three quality signings. How many do you think we need? Quality signings. Are you happy with the signing of the lad from Spurs, Kirk? And I'm absolutely over the moon. It's good to have some young talent at, the, at, the, at, you know, at Sunderland. We have got some good young talent coming through at Sunderland as well. Good under-23 squad. We have got some other players that are fit into there. Some that played last night probably won't go on and play on Saturday. 
But like I said, I'm going for 2-1 victory. Let me know your thoughts on Kirk. And let me know how many players you want and who you want in. Let me know your score predictions down below in the comments. And don't forget the live stream on Saturday. I will be doing a live stream. Hook, line or singer. If that's a scene. I will be doing a live stream. So join in with the live stream. Support the channel. Much appreciated. Take care. God bless. May God go with you. Subscribe to the channel. SCFC Fan TV. Thursday night, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Be there or be square. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you later. Yes, we finally got a left back. <coughs> oh, God damn it.